Hello, my name is Ben Robinson. This is a guitar from Walmart. It says BC. That does not stand for Beaver Creek. It stands for Best Choice. It's a Walmart guitar. I bought it on Amazon for $60 Canadian and shipping. And I'm sure if you shop for it, it'll be a different price because it just works like that. So um, I tuned by ear. The, the guitar was a little bit out of tune and I tuned by ear um, my, uh, my guitar here, nice black guitar. It's pretty, it's not, I don't think this is wood, maybe it is, but it feels kind of plasticky. So I tuned by ear, what you're supposed to do is first you get your E. So I just said to myself, okay, that's E. Uh, I, uh, I, I don't have enough, really you have to know internally what it sounds like. A lot of people, the, the way you're supposed to start to learn is to have a piano and press the E key on the piano. I don't have an actual piano, I have a digital piano. Why not just use a digital tuner, is what I've been doing. Um, and my instructors have been using digital tuners as well. Or at least some of them have. Um, anyway, so the guitar for Dubby's book tells you to go 4th fret. First you find your uh, low E. So that's my, I'm calling that my low E. And then 4th fret you press down, and then you compare it to, to the 5th string. So the low E is the 6th string, the uh, A string is called the 5th string, so you press down on the 4th fret on the low E 6th string, and then you compare it to an open strum on the A string, which is the 5th string. And to me, that sounds pretty much good enough. I don't know, like, maybe if I... Power chord. I don't know, you should be able to do power chords with just these two strings. And it sounds out of tune to me already. Uh, but I'm going to show you just how out of tune this is. Uh, so, you now that you have your... that you have your 6th string and your 5th string in tune. You know what, let's drop, drop this. So, it's weird. And to me, like, I hear that, that's, that's like, those two notes go together. So I'm like, why not just play that? Why not just have that? So let's go to our fourth fret, fifth string, compared to an open uh, 
tired of tuning it is, so like, let's play an E major. It's just a hot bass. The chords just don't work, the chords for standard tuning. So I'm going to turn on my tuner and attach it to the headstock. And we're going to see, I'll, I'll set it to chromatic. So I'm weak because I've been exercising. Um, so how do we set it to chromatic? Guitar, bass, chromatic. Okay, so set to chromatic and it'll toss the true note that we're playing here. So what's my low E? That's actually a G sharp. What's my A? That's a B flat. What's my D? That's almost a solid E. Just a little bit off. So that's an E. Um, <laughs> what is my G? That's actually a little bit sharp. Is a G that's a little bit sharp, so that's not so bad. And my B? Is a C sharp, um, and my uh, my low uh, my high E is uh, F sharp. So so I could adjust it towards um, the proper tuning because with this electronic tuner I could set it to E A D G B E. See, because it's this awkward, non-tuned thing, it forces you to improvise. You can't just wail on your E minor. It it's just makes bad sense. But you can do that. It forces you to figure out new tunes. So what I was saying the other day about uh, 12 string and sitars being, uh, you know, kind of like showing you, showing the audience or the listener that they have a, something large. Um, I feel that way. I feel the six string is enough because this is a one string diddly bow guitar and it doesn't even need to be in tune it can be tuned to anything I'm gonna tighten that up a bit I think see that sounds good to me I don't know what that is um, and I didn't mark the uh, I didn't mark what the ABCD is See, just with this one string. You can fool around. So that's my lesson. Sorry, I don't mean to preach. I guess I was a bit preachy. So, I'm not qualified to be an instructor, but that's my video. You can call it a lesson if you want. <laughs>